Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy. I'm going to be doing a reading for the collective and to find the overriding theme, I'm going to pick some oracle cards. Actually, this one's saying, pick me, pick me. This is from the Cali Oracle deck. Sri Bala, number 27, for those of you who like numerology and like to know the numbers. Love that image. These cards are so beautiful. All right, Sri Bala, divine child with wisdom beyond her years, the old soul with deep knowing dwells within our hearts. She urges you to commit to your most passionate inspirations completely and without hesitation. There are, there are genius and wisdom in what you yearn to do. Ding. You have a greater capacity to attain fruition than those around you recognize. Believe in yourself even if no one else does. It is not imagination that drives you towards your destiny, but an instinctive recognition of your true purpose. Validation from others will come later. Your path is authentic and you are destined to succeed. I'm gonna read that last bit. Your path is authentic and you are destined to succeed. I think that's the name of the title of this video. That is amazing. So those of you who are uh, on a path creating the, a new you, creating the life that you want, or maybe you're wanting to do that, do that. Be you. Others might not like the new you, but the new you is the authentic you. And you have a choice. Do you want to be more you and more authentically you, or do you want to stay and become the you that others want you to become? And I'm guessing if you're watching this, you've already made that choice or you're making that choice that I have to be me. And I've got a vision of something I want to create for myself and for this new earth. And it's beautiful and loving. Um, it uh, has divine purpose. It is divinely guided and service, um, joy through service. It's a project, it's a work that makes you feel fulfilled, completely fulfilled and satisfied. It is when you are doing that work that you are the most you, you can be, ding. And the card, the angelic card that I drew is Pattern Breaker. It takes a lot of courage to be yourself, to have, uh, to not only create the you that you want to become, but to also create something like that, a business. Um, feels like, it's weird because the word like business and work have a certain vibration and it feels like, yes, you will be able to, um, it's a business, but it's not in the energy of business because it's built on the foundation of your passions. It's divinely guided. It's where you can be the most you, where you invite others to be the most themselves as well. Uh, business of service. 
And your animal totem for this reading is hummingbird. I've been seeing a lot of wonderful hummingbirds um, in my garden. Joy, lighten up. I'm getting that, that the hummingbird is reminding you that there's, it's not, I'll be happy once I build this. That if you do not create, bring joy in on the path to creating the new you, to creating what you want to bring into this world, that um, it won't be practiced. It won't be an energy that you're bringing in. You have to bring it every step of the way. And there are difficult times, definitely difficult times, obstacles, um, ascension symptoms, expanding and contracting of energy. So you might go through patterns of feeling really grateful of energy, nothing can stop you. And then a contraction where you have to go within. And the more you realize that that's part of the process and there's nothing wrong with you, that there's nothing wrong with what's going on and accept that, then it becomes an easier um, process to go through as you are ascending and breaking all those patterns. May, um, I've got a lot of um, ancestor energies in here. So your ancestors are behind you, your guides are behind you, your guardian angels, your archangels, there's so much energy around you supporting you on your journey. You're not alone. You have guidance, the earth, Gaia, nature, the hummingbirds. Um, you are loved. You are guided. You are supported. That's become a mantra for me. I'm loved. I'm guided. I am supported, especially when I don't feel that when I am in a contraction space, then I'm like, I am, if I can't feel it or receive it right now, though, I do know I am always loved, supported and guided. I am divinely loved. I am divinely supported. I am divinely guided. So I hope that helps. All right. All right, pattern breakers that are creating the new you. Let's see what your story, what's been going on for you. Oh, oh, all right. Nice. So in the past, Somewhere in your past, you've been at 10 of Pentacles in reverse. So I maybe you've um, had issues with greed. Either you or people around you using you, um, seeing dollar signs with you, maybe wanting to take from you, your wealth, or maybe you've had financial failure or loss, lack of success or stability. So maybe this, okay, so what I'm getting is, you know, in the past, I've dealt with people or I've tried to create things or I created things, but they didn't last. And so this, what I'm getting as guidance is that this is not now. You're in a new phase. This is not then. You learned some wonderful wonder. It didn't fail and it's over and there was nothing from it. Nothing is lost. You learned a lot. I bet if I, if this was a two-way conversation, you could tell me about something that was a failure, quote unquote, that you you built or tried to build and it didn't last and you could tell me all the things you learned from that I picked the wrong person my the wrong partners I didn't listen to my gut um, telling me that this just is really difficult and I don't feel it should be this difficult 
Um, I, I let others lead when I knew that really wasn't where I wanted to go. I, or I was all enthusiasm and not grounded and into reality. So there's just a lot I bet there's thousands of lessons that you learned with each uh, situation that didn't pan out. So nothing is lost. It, this was purposeful that you went through these failures, I hate that word, um, because these obstacles, these challenges that you have now a wealth of experience and can see things uh, from a new space. So right now, collective, you are in star energy, the star. A song just came in my head. Um, you don't have to be a star, baby, to be in my show. Is that what it is, to be in my show? All right, um, you're hopeful, you're calm. This has a real um, manifesting feel about it. You have purpose. You can feel that uh, calling, that pull to your future. And it's given you like renewed enthusiasm there's, it feels very spiritual, spiritually guided, and it's rejuvenating you. Even though you're doing a lot of work, it's still rejuvenating. I like how in the picture, she has one foot in the water, in the celestial pool, the earth pool, and she's dumping the water here and here. It's kind of has an as above, so below. And it's hard to see, but the water is streaming off into five different streams for the five senses. So it takes a lot of guts to be a star. You're vulnerable, you're naked. Others can um, see you when you put yourself out there as a leader, as a pattern breaker. It's about power and success, not power in a toxic way, not in a way that you would use that power to suppress others from rising up, but a power of your light that would help guide others to also feel the freedom to break patterns, to lighten up. Um, going back to, you know, your path is authentic and you are destined to succeed. You're a star. Um, I don't feel like I need any qualifications on that. It feels um, pretty clear. Your higher self right now is an ace of cups. This is divinely guided. You love what you're wanting to create. And if you don't love it, red flag. You love what you're doing. You have compassion for yourself and your clients. You have creativity that's divinely, it's like you're co-creating with the divine. The divine is offering you up new feelings. Having gone through the 10 of pentacles in reverse in your past, you might be so used to a lack of success and discomfort and 
being around people and in situations that aren't um, getting comfortable. That's a very broad word, but that are difficult, that are confusing, that are toxic. And maybe you've gotten used to that is how you live. People are people. The people that are around me don't support me, don't help guide me. They don't want my success. They don't want me to be myself. And it takes a while to unlearn that that is not everyone. That is you realizing and shedding those uh, behaviors in yourself that accept that and, and letting go. And it's really tough to let go of people who um, who don't want the best for you just because you might have been with them for a long time, but they're not supportive. And if they don't want you to be you, if they want you to stay small and you want to be a star and be big, you are a pattern breaker. You weren't meant to comply and so if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you've had a lifetime of difficulties with people not supporting you and not wanting you to be you, wanting people wanting you to be what they want you to be. And you are breaking that pattern. Your ancestors are supporting you. Your guides are supporting you. Your angels are supporting you. Uh, Kali Ma in the Sri Bali is supporting you. The hummingbirds, earth is supporting you. You have tons of support around you. You are guided, you are divinely loved, you are divinely guided and you are divinely supported. And, and to quiet yourself and get into those spaces where you can receive that guidance. It's not a masculine energy of going out and finding it or thinking of it. It's quieting that mind and getting in that receptive mode, that allowing divine feminine mode to allow yourself to receive divine guidance. And again, this cup has five streams for the five senses, just like the star energy. So new senses, new new ways of seeing things, new ways of hearing things, new ways of feeling things, new. And new might feel uncomfortable at first. So getting, letting go of what's comfortable or what is new and divine and wonderful. All right, your challenge right now is four of pentacles. This has a, um, a real worry about your money. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Thank you, Snoop Dogg. So there's a, there's a worry. This has a two sides since this is a general reading. I'm getting that some of you um, the challenge is to be more conscious of your finances. If you are unaware of what your financial picture is and getting a real grounded picture of where your finances is, are. On the other side, maybe some of you are so worried about your finances that it puts you in a scarcity spot where I can't create what I want. I have to remain stuck in doing and being the person I don't want to be because I don't know how to um, support myself. I don't have enough money. get some clarification on on your challenge because that is tough i've been um in both spots 
actually both spots at the same time, very unconscious of what my financial situation is and scared to step out because I don't know, or I don't believe, I don't believe that I could, um, I could support myself financially with what I love to do. So I get that both sides of those are, are tough. Another challenge is when the wheel of fortune is in reverse. So it feels like um, you might also have a resistance to change, a resistance to breaking those cycles, even though you are a pattern breaker. And feel like, I feel like there's some beliefs around, you know, the wheel of fortune is just always turning. And sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down. And I'm getting this feeling that when things are difficult, because this happens to me, when things are difficult, when I'm in a contraction period, when I'm working through dense energies, when I'm in it, when I'm in a storyline and I can't let go of the storyline and raise my vibration, and I'm working through some lessons of mine, then I, I, there's this belief that comes up that I'm always here. I'm all, and I'm not, but there's some kind of like, I, I'm, I, I never succeed. I'm always having bad luck. I can't change this just very negative self-talk. And so I remember I, to tell myself, I would even have like um, a page of self-talk, what to tell myself when I'm in like a, a rip cords, an emergency rip cord to remind myself when I'm in those denser periods of my life to, and they happen quite often with dissension, you know, it might be part of a day, it might be a full day, it might be a week. Um, before I come back out to look at that page and say, oh my gosh, yes, this is temporary. This is temporary. This is important. Don't avoid this. This is important that I'm feeling these really intense emotions and feelings. Drop the storyline and just feel, get into a feeling space. Another one is just like me, Pema Chodron. Um, if I'm feeling this, it, when you're in those dark places, it can be very isolating. I'm in this alone. I'm the only one going through this because I'm seeing on Facebook, everybody is having a good time. I see on Instagram that everybody is having the time of their life or whatever social media. Um, and instead realizing that just like me, there are millions of people right now who are going through something very similar. Their storyline might be different, but they're experiencing the same mixture of textures of difficulty and dense emotions. And that helps me, like not that I wish other people to be feeling this, but realizing that I'm not alone that we'll all get through this. We'll all get through this. And it's my wish that I move through this denser time and that everybody else experiencing this also goes through denser, gets through their denser times and learns their lessons that they needed to learn from that. Um, some of you might be stuck in Two of Swords energy. This feels like a decision. Do I do it? Do I not? Okay, I'm doing it, but now I'm stuck on, do I do it this way or do I do that way? Do it. Um, swords, so up in your head, thoughts, Again, letting go of, you 
been analyzing it, analyzing and analyzing and going around in a cyclical pattern, then your crown chakra, you are kind of stuck at a certain vibration and you're not going to find the answer. You think your, your brain is like, I've got this. I'm going to just keep thinking about this until I get the answer. But the thing is that your answer is at a different vibration. That makes sense. You might be circling and circling, circling at yellow and your vibration where your answer is, is like a high pink or white. And so quieting your mind, letting go of the analyzer, command your thoughts, say, you know, right now I want you to focus on my breath. And in, in any thoughts that come in, the thought, let it go. This is great to do first thing in the morning before you get really caught up in monkey mind. Just noticing that a couple of you are, have got a really wonderful mindfulness practice and um, thank you for what you do by quieting your mind you help others realize that um, there's that space creating that space so thank you all right another challenge is the queen of wands in reverse This feels like insecurity. Um, doubt. At times, of course, you're gonna doubt your intuition. Of course, you're going to, to have doubt and that's okay. Sitting with that, also noticing, is this coming from outside of me? Is this someone else's, when I'm thinking of this doubt, am I thinking of someone saying something specifically to me, whoever's coming to mind, like maybe it's a, a group of people from your past, some from your present, and realizing that a lot of times I've had people around me who are terrified of being themselves and making moves because they're terrified of failure. And so their energy informed me of how I, what I believe and how I believe. And um, so taking some time alone, separate yourself from everyone, find your own energy. Nature is great for this, yoga, Yoga that quiets the mind, not yoga to get the pose perfect. Um, breath work, mindfulness, meditation. Um, quieting that mind, releasing others' energy so you can find your own energy. Another challenge are towers, right? <laughs> They're sudden changes, chaos. They're they can be revelations like, oh, wow, where I'm at, this person is not, I see this person clearly and this person does not have my best interests. Boss, family member, friend, uh, significant other. And it's, it is a tough awakening. Towers, I, I still have resistance to tower moments. Uh, I'm also getting that, that this, the 10 of pentacles in reverse in your past, the wanting to build a business or, or building something and then having it not work out, maybe even several times that that creates a, a fear of it not working out. 
And I'm getting better at realizing that towers are my friend. If I'm not conscious that this, that I'm building on a foundation that's not strong. I mean, that's why the tower, it's divine. It's divine guidance towers saying, look, you've built on this really cruddy foundation and you keep building this tower. It's not working. Let it fall. Look at the foundations. Are you building on, are you manifesting what you want to create when you are in a good headspace and a good emotional space? Is it grounded? Are you trying to make it look like something and the timing is what you want and what you want it to look like? Or are you creating from more of a feeling space? I want to be happy in my job. I want to be fulfilled in what I create. I want to be satisfied. I want others like-minded people to be drawn to this space. I want to have service with joy. I want to bring joy in the, in the creating of it, not just once it's created and up and running. Well, now I'll feel joyful. I want to lighten up and enjoy the whole process. I want to know that my path is authentic and that I'm destined to succeed. I want divine guidance. I want um, from there, from that headspace. If you're like, I'm, I'm worried about this. I don't want that. It should be this. If shoulds come up, red flag. I, I need to do it by this time. Like that's trying to control, that's a lack of surrender. You're co-creating with the divine, not your timing, not how you perceive that it should look like and should be. Allow the process to work through you, to work with the universe, to work with the divine. And to do that, you have to raise your vibration and trust the process and um <laughs> go with the flow go with the flow of from the ace of cups i mean there's cups with flow and the star so all right you've got this you are divinely guided you are divinely loved and you are divinely supported wherever you are is the right place to be. There's no rush. There's no hurry. You've got this. So, all right. Let me know if this helped you. Thank you for sharing your energies. Bye.